Hey, it's day nine of 21 days in 2024. It's also Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I'm sure many of you have the day off, if not sorry, but many of us do. I'm out this morning hiking. Uh, I'm in the woods. I'm right alongside a creek here and uh, love being outside uh, and got out early on this cold morning with a little snow falling. You know, the Bible tells us uh, an account of when Moses went up onto the mountain. I don't know how wooded it was on the mountain, but he went up there and he heard from God and uh, he came back down. We know the story. The people had built a golden calf. Uh, he had them destroy it. It's quite the account. He had to go back up on the mountain again where he received the Ten Commandments a second time and the law of God. But the Bible says that he received these things during a 40-day fast. He was actually fasting for 40 days of no food and no water. So if there was a creek like the one next to me, he didn't drink from it. Now, that was clearly a supernatural fast if there was no water involved. That shouldn't be a part of any of our fasts, of course. Uh, that would be uh, too dangerous apart from it being a divinely inspired thing. But what's unique about it that I want to point out today is that Moses heard from God during a fast. God spoke to him, God directed him, gave him direction for his life and the people of God. And I want to encourage you as well to anticipate hearing from God during the fast as well. Let's believe for God to speak to our hearts and provide direction in our lives. And you don't have to go up on a mountain to get that. You can be anywhere. But spend a little quiet time in your time of prayer. Maybe as you're walking through your straight F's on your report card, uh, make sure you pause as well. Listen for the voice of God. Listen to his word as you're reading it. Let's allow God to direct our paths as well. God bless you.